To get to this point in replacing your front brake calipers, you will have needed to already safely raised, supported the vehicle, and removed the front brake pads. Please follow the link at the end of this video for additional assistance on those tasks. With the front brake pads removed, you will need to remove the brake wear sensor connection and cable from the caliper. Use a 10 mm wrench and remove the single bolt from the connection as indicated by the red arrow. Follow the cable up and remove it from its holder on the shock, yellow arrow, and set the cable out of the way. Do not disconnect it further from the vehicle. If you are just moving the caliper to change the rotor, you do not need to do this step. Once you open the brake lines, you will need to completely bleed the system before you can drive the car again. If you are removing the caliper to replace or rebuild it, use a 14 mm wrench and loosen the brake line from the caliper, red arrow. Do not try and remove the line from the caliper, as it will twist too much. It is easier to finish removing the line after you remove the caliper from its mount and turn the caliper around the line. Use the appropriate size socket and remove the two mounting bolts from the rear of the steering knuckle as indicated by the red arrows. You may need to use a breaker bar if the bolts are corroded on. You can now remove the caliper from the knuckle. If you are removing it from the vehicle, it is easier to spin the caliper around the brake line to remove it, as the line will not get all twisted up. Red arrow. If you are not separating the caliper from the line, but needed to move it for other work, make sure you safely hang the caliper up out of the way. Red arrow. Never let the caliper hang from the brake line. You could do serious damage to the line and fitting. The four-piston caliper can be rebuilt or replaced. The rebuild kits include new seals, o-rings, and boots. Note that the pistons are different sizes. Red arrow. Installation is the reverse of removal. Do not attempt to drive the vehicle until you have completely bled the brake system. Please see our article on bleeding your brakes by following the link at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.